Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 11th June. The rally finally seems to be fizzling out. Election is done, government is formed, cabinet ministers are aligned, no surprises. So as of now, there is no uncertainty left. The next big milestone is the budget season. It will also coincide with the results for Q1. Now we all have three to four weeks to consolidate, redo our portfolios. Trading will get a bit difficult, markets likely to go sideways. They will be volatile, but again, volatility will be stock specific, sector specific. If there is any news, if there is any announcement, note that few weeks back I have already released a video on election expectations that government has a lot of surplus cash available for the new budget and I believe certain sectors, certain stocks will get a new fillip around the budget. The stock prices will not wait for the budget announcements. They will start running up about one to two weeks ahead of the budget season. So do watch the video if you haven't and create your model portfolio. Today Nifty again started with a gap up it consolidated for most of the day just like it is doing these days around one around two o'clock there was a downward slide this was a big sharp cut i'd been expecting this 200 point kind of sharp cut for a while now but it never came today i had squared off all my short positions it came after that but this is how life is the vix came down significantly today with the uncertainty gone 10% down vix is now below 15 this is a big deal as a result, most of the option premiums come down significantly. The life of traders can become very difficult if they are on the wrong side of the trade right now. Today, Nifty didn't go anywhere in the end. That was the same thing which happened yesterday also. So effectively nearly closed where it started. Bank Nifty also was down a very little only. Nifty IT also didn't do anything. FIs net didn't buy anything. DIs bought a bit 3200 crores. Nifty Energy did very little quarter percent. So it was literally like an absent kind of day as if no one was working. However, the big heavy weights were down. Reliance was down 1%. Today, Reliance and Nifty were not singing the same song. TCS again down 0.3%. ICIC down 0.5%. So it was actually not the top 8 which held the index together. It was the bottom stocks and we'll come to that. There was significant red today. I had been talking about the sea of greens for last few days. Today, we had a red day in terms of the heavyweights. This is actually a healthy correction. This is not something to worry about. People had to take profits off the table. It should not be postponed to a very late date. Otherwise, it becomes very painful for the people who have just gone long. Gold went up a little. Silver was down 1.5%. Brent cooled 81.2. Bitcoin had a sharp correction. It is nearly around 66,000, 67,000 now. I haven't checked the US news for last few days, so I'm not sure about the trigger of this. However, Apple was up yesterday after the WWDC event. I didn't see any major announcement that caught my eyes. Microsoft was down a bit. JPMC down, Tesla down. Overall, S&P was down half a percent. NASDAQ was down just 0.15%. One good thing to note is FII figures and DIA figures have started matching now, which means whatever FIs have sold, DIAs have bought it. There is no net difference between the institutional buyers and sellers. This is one number I am particular about. Not a good sign if public is buying what institutions are selling. Sector snapshot has improved in the last two days. Yesterday 22 sectors were up. Today 25 sectors were up. It is good that some sectors are continuously going for corrections. However, there are some like aerospace and defense, real estate, transport infrastructure. They have not taken a breather since the election results were announced. Same with free and logistics, home building. All these sectors are expecting good announcements in their favor from the government, which has been re-elected. Same with telecom, insurance, construction materials, which is essentially cement. Today, while the index did not go anywhere, the push to go up came from automobiles, oil and gas, construction, metals, transport infrastructure, aerospace and defense. There were significant sectors which were trying to take the Nifty up. However, Nifty was getting dragged down by pharma, food and drug retailing, food and tobacco electrical utilities, personal and household. Aerospace and defense, Musgaon Dock has been alternating between ups and downs. Today it was up 2.5%. HAL, BEL up 1% each. Note that aerospace and defense is one sector where a lot of government spending may come in. Automobile, everything was up around 1%. Banking, mix pack, Kotak was down 1.5%. ICAC was down 1.5%. So was Access Bank. Construction and engineering, RVNL was up 4%. IRB cooled down another 6%. LNT is a big company. It's very hard for it to move 4-5%, up 1.5%. But the smaller companies, NBCC, Aircon, were up nearly 10%. Cement pack, mix pack, ultra tech was up 1%, grassim half percent. 
as a result, the sector was up. Adani Enterprise has not moved for a few days. It is nowhere close to its 52-week high either. I was expecting the Adani pack to go up significantly after the election commotion got over. Let's see, there may be a big move around the corner. Electrical utilities, the Adani pack actually cooled down. NTPC was up. Power grid, Tata Power up a little. The consumption pack was mixed bag. I expect this sector to do well in the next one or two years. Motila Loswal thankfully did not tank today, 1.3% up. However, I still do not have the new stocks in my DMAT portfolio. Hopefully, I'll get them tomorrow. Siemens, ABB, very big companies up half percent each. The smaller players like BHEL, CG Power, Ashok Leland, Schoffler, all of them are actually nearing their 52 week high now. Schaeffler, I don't know why it is parked with machinery equipment. It should actually be an auto company, just like Mother Sumi. After several days of consolidation, Hindustan Zinc went through the roof today, 4% up. Oil and gas, ONGC went up 5.5% today. Oil India, 6.8%. I today bought BPCL, but that hardly moved. Nearly everything else moved up significantly. Pharma was down 0.6% today. Real estate option has not stopped buzzing since the election results were announced. It has been up only for most days. Software and IT looks a lot better than yesterday. TCS Infosys were still down. Restaurant had slight pullback. Telecom is green, but ATL has already touched its 52 week high nearly. Vodafone also is inching up towards its 52 week high. Good news is coming in for Vodafone. Today they got an approval for a new loan from SBI. Nifty 50 today was led by ONGC and LNT. Tata Motors, Adani Ports, Maruti Suzuki also were up. Volumes selectively, they were more than 100%, but nothing went through the roof. Most stocks traded with low volumes only. This is a trend I am expecting in the times to come. Volumes will lower. Over time, obviously, the lower volumes will become the average patterns. What was down? Kotak Mahindra, Divis, Asian Paints, DRL, Reliance Industries, ITC. But again, volumes were not very high for stocks that were down. Very few stocks, just 7 in the 52-week low window, which means only 7 stocks are in the zone of 0 to 50% in their distance to 52-week low. Nearly half of them are in the 80 to 100% zone. And actually, more than a quarter are in the 90 to 100% zone, which means they are very close to 52 week high nifty next 50 besides four stocks indigo irctc gail and pi industries the volumes were really really low what was up irctc gail ioc bosch tomato overall 26 stocks down 24 up what was down indigo down 4.3 percent that's perhaps to do with the promoter selling some stake icsl lombard cholamandalam avenue supermart which is dmart adani total while the volumes were low Till 31 stocks are in the 80 to 100 percent zone. This is fantastic stuff. Nifty next 50 stocks are doing pretty well in terms of 52 week high. Most of these 52 week highs will actually be lifetime highs for most stocks. Nifty IT volumes are pretty low for most stocks, less than 50 percent. Nifty Energy also, besides ONGC, which had nearly 2x volumes, everything was at a very low volume today. The surprising part was Reliance was down 1 percent, but Nifty did not crack, it nearly closed in the green actually. Banks, volumes were low again today. They were low yesterday also. Nothing stands out. Some stocks up, some stocks down. Same in the public sector banks. How did my trades go? Today I switched mostly to CNC which is cash and carry. I bought Tata Investments, HAL, BPCL, Indian Bank, Varun Beverages and I sold Motilal Oswal. Only 100 stocks out of the 400. I had 100. I got 300 more but those 300 are still not in the DMAT. But I sold off the first 100. I thought there is at least some profit on the table which I can take off. Once everyone gets the remaining 300%, there could be heavy profit booking. I also sold ABB. This is temporary. I'll buy it back soon. ABB I'll probably carry in my portfolio towards the election rally. FNO, like I've mentioned in the last few updates, I've changed my approach now. Positions are a lot less and I have a hedge now. Let me walk you through my approach here. These two positions are for the Thursday series. I'm again short only here. Idea is that if Nifty stays where it is, which is 23 to 60 approximately, I'll have a profit of 5,000 rupees. That's a 10% gain in about three days time. Not bad if I get it. So unless Nifty cracks, I'll make some money here because I'm an option seller here net net, not a buyer. Similarly, let me switch to the other position which are for the month end. The profit for this position will be around 13,000 at month end. If Nifty is around 23,300, this will be a 20% profit in slightly more than two weeks time. Here also I am an option seller net net. The key here is Nifty should not go up significantly. Now, if this position is profitable, I might not carry it towards the expiry because expiry will get closer to the budget season. I'll take that call later only. I did a calculation for the financial year in the last three months. 
I'm still in profit in the options trades. Our last three days were not good at all. It was my bad. It is not that I was not aware of the mistakes I was making. I just got carried away and I then got into rescue act where I could not digest the losses and I tried to make up for them. That pulled me deeper into the losses. I hope these live losses will help you also kind of refine your trades. Never try to recover what is already lost. You will lose more only. Always get into a new trade which is possibly not in the same stock, same index or at least on the same day. I have now started my research on what I will want in my portfolio. That is why you will see me buying certain stocks, selling certain stocks so that I can understand their price movements. It is not an easy decision to take sizable quantities of a stock unless you understand the movements also the patterns the way they are emerging right now for example today i bought tata investments now it may go into losses also however i've seen in the past that tata investments when it goes up it hits upper circuit for a few times so if that happens i could get a decent profit Varun beverages actually missed the rally i forgot to buy it on the last tuesday this could have been a fantastic buy for the medium to long term Overall, I'll encourage you to utilize the next 2-3 weeks. If you are a trader, do trade also. However, if your appetite is for investment, then don't miss out on the budget rally. Do watch the video again like I mentioned earlier, if you haven't or if you want a revision. But you should be preparing a list of stocks you would want to buy as well as arrange the money. I do expect markets to get into more profit booking, minor correction or a major correction. Or markets need to cool down ahead of the budgets at least once in my opinion. Volatility will be there, but it will be not as volatile as the last week. It will come down. The VIX is also indicating that. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.